the supreme court verdict taking away the power to appoint members of the election commission of india eci from the sole domain of the executive is a major boost to the independence of the election watchdog uh, the court has ruled that a three member committee comprising the prime minister the leader of the opposition in the lok sabha or the leader of the single largest opposition party and the chief justice of india cji will choose the cec and ecs until a law in, law in passed as a constitutional body vested with plenary powers of superintendence direction and control over elections the eci is a vital component of the republic that requires functional freedom and constitutional protection to ensure free and fair elections it has been the practice that the president appoints the cc and ecs on the advice of the prime minister but the constitution bench has pointed out that the original intent of the constitution makers was that the manner of appointment should be laid down in a parliamentary law article 324 says the president should appoint the cec and commissioner subject to any law made in that behalf by parliament however successive regimes have failed to enact a law justice k m joseph who has authored the main verdict has based the court's decision on the inertia of the legislature and the perceived vacuum in the absence of a law few would disagree with the court's fundamental proposition that the election watchdog should be fiercely independent and not be beholden to the executive and there should be no room for an appointing authority to expect reciprocity or loyalty the government's argument that the existing system was working well and there was no vacuum was quite weak as admittedly the convention now is that the prime minister chooses a name from among the database of high ranking civil servants and advises the president to make the appointment however a relevant question is whether the presence of the cji in, in the election panel is the only way in which an institution's independence can be preserved there is no clear proof that the independence of the cbi director who is appointed by a panel that includes the cji or his nominee has been preserved or enhanced further the cji's presence may give preemptive legitimacy to all appointments and effect objective judicial scrutiny of any error or infirmity in the process on its part the government will be well advised to enact a law but not one that seeks to preserve the current convention to get around the verdict that is in tune with the spirit of the court's emphasis on the eci's independence